welcome back to another video i hope you guys are doing well and you are enjoying your day or whatever welcome back this is going to be another fashion outfit ideas video for all of my ladies with larger bellies like myself and of course this is based on your taste and what you are comfortable in wearing but i have a large belly i am also a person that doesn't mind see people seeing that i have a large belly like i'm not out here showing skin that's just not me not saying there's anything wrong with that but the way I dress is what I'm comfortable with. So if you are not, I completely understand. I may not be the person for you. However, these, these are um, outfit ideas that I am very comfortable with and I wanted to share them with you guys if you want to add them to your repertoire, okay? Um, first things first, I papa, myself, Ashley. That's my name. My name is Ashley. I make plus size fashion and lifestyle videos for you guys to enjoy. Um, so I would love to keep you here if this is your first time here. Quick service announcement. All of those people that have been asking for consultations and, and help and advice on becoming a content creator, going full time, managing your money so you can be able to go full time, managing your money when you start making money as a content creator, your girl has finally started consulting calls. Hello, hello. Okay, so we finally got consulting calls out of the way. We finally got a Calendly up. So if you guys want to get consulting calls, the Calendly link is down there for you to check it out. I have a 30 minute, one hour and a two hour. If that's something you want, we can deep dive in your finances, all of that to kind of help you get along your journey and get to the point where you want to be in your content creating career. I know that has nothing to do with this video, but I definitely wanted to get that out for the girls that are interested. The link is going to be below, probably going to be below in all of the rest of my videos going forward. So definitely check that out. I'm only taking six in a month, so go ahead and schedule. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into these five outfit ideas. These are outfit ideas that are perfect for the weather that we're having now. I was going to do transitional weather, but I was like, we're not there yet. It's hot. I am burning up. So I'm going to give you five outfit ideas that are really great for the girls with large bellies. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so y'all know how these videos go. We're gonna have the phone up because your girl may not remember everything that I'm supposed to talk about, amen? So I'm going to go ahead and go through each outfit for you. All of the outfits are gonna be linked in the description um, in order the way I'm talking about them. Also, makeup artist did the makeup, girl. I don't know what she used, I'm so sorry. I can put the makeup that I use under there, but my makeup have been coming out like her makeup has been coming out. So I would suggest not. <laughs> I don't apply it's not the makeup it's the application I'm not a makeup girly I'm a skincare girly there's a difference you know uh but yes hat is from Maurice's I'll have that link for you guys below and the shaper that I wear in a lot of these outfits are either going to be the Encore Spanx shaper I'm going to make sure I have a picture of that over here it's the one that has the most compression in your belly if you want that it is a little thicker than the one I wear like if I'm just wearing casual clothes it's a little thicker than that um but yeah that is the shaper that i wear or the spanx thin stinks spanx thin stinks is perfect if you have something that is a bit more form-fitting you don't want any lines of your um shapewear being shown like the thigh area or even ac across the belly the thin stinks is going to be your best bet make sure you get the correct size because if you don't it can roll i am a size 22 24 and i'm wearing a 3x in the spanx both encore and the thin stinks um and you also have the spanx panty shaper i'm gonna put a picture of that over here these are different options that you can wear underneath your clothes i love spanx i do have a code with them and be sure to put that code in the description i pray that it's still available i want to say it's ashley x girl don't i'm gonna put it in the description because i don't remember <laughs> okay first outfit so the very first outfit is my favorite it is the anthropology tiered halter cream dress so cute so cute it's perfect for summer fallish amen it's perfect for that um it's really good as a wedding guest dress so nice you can do a nice dinner dress this can be day this can be night depending on how you're feeling you can wear it with sandals you can wear it with heels i actually did not have a shaper on with this i don't think because granted it's not a form-fitting dress it is very flowy and those that are actually concerned about like the height of it uh the length of it i am five six but anthropology gives you the options of plus size standard and petite so i think you can check that out and i'm wearing my normal size in this dress i'm a 24 women's i would say get your if you're like uh split sizes like myself i would say get the the higher size um especially if you're big busted 
I didn't have any issues with the bust in this dress. So, 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 so nice. Those that have not heard me talk about the hack before, I received as a consumer of content myself. I received uh, some advice from Miss Christine of, I think that's her name on Instagram, Miss Christine. <laughs> but her original name on Instagram was Trendy Curvy. Uh, she actually did a video showing how she does a strapless bra hack. And basically you have a strapless bra of your choosing. It doesn't have to be a specific one, but I can have the bra that I'm using below. You have a strapless bra of your choosing and you get a bando bra from the Amazon, right? A bando bra and you size down so that it is tighter. And what it does, it gives you that hold and the bra that you have on should give you a little lift. And then that, my friends, is the bra hack. That's all it is. I have the ones that I use, um, which the bando bra is exact what she uses. Um, that is from Amazon. I'll have that link below. And the Amazon bra that I use, I'll have that link below as well. And then another strapless bra from a company that I love. <laughs> I'll have that link below as well. I just haven't changed my strapless bra. I need to. But let's go ahead and get into it. But yes, this is a nice, nice outfit. I love the flow of it. I love the length of it. You can wear it sandals, heels. I love how it can be versatile and how comfortable it is. Um, and I, it's, a, it's a top neck, like a halter. It comes up here and then it has buttons on the back of your neck. So um, if that is your, is not your strength, then this probably is not your dress. <laughs> but that is exactly what this dress looks like. It's fine. It feels good. It's so cute. <sighs> a winner all the way. So let's go ahead and go into the next outfit. So the next outfit is actually something that is also work appropriate. You can do it like a night outfit or even just a casual day outfit and you can wear it to work also. So it depends on what kind of shoe you throw with it um, and what kind of top you throw with the pants. So these are pinstripe wide leg pants that are also from anthropology they come in standard size petite size and plus size i got them in my normal size 24. i will say that the top band of the pants are a bit more snug so if you want a more comfortable fit i would definitely size up i think anthropology stops at either a 26 or 28. so the link is in the description amen for you guys to check that out but i love the length of the pants again i'm five six so this is how it stops on me with heels and then i also have a video that i'm probably going to show you guys over on the side where i wore them with dunks because this will actually look really nice with sneakers if you want to uh pair the pants with a more casual top so i just have an old uh cream sleeveless top that is perfect for work i'll try to find something similar this is very old i have no idea where i got it from oh i do loft a long time ago when loft was still selling plus size clothes but um yeah i i got that from loft a while ago but it's a nice cream uh sleeveless top that it's really goes well with the pinstripe pants that will really look good for work so i'm gonna try to find another option for you guys to make sure that it's a good affordable option because the pants are a little bit pricier because it is anthropology but y'all anthropology lasts let me tell you if anthropology don't do nothing else they gonna last. You hear me? They gonna last. They are going to last. So yeah, if if you do invest in a piece of anthropology, <laughs> ready to keep it for a while until it's time for you to give it away or sell it to someone else because you'll have it for a, a while. Um, yeah, so that's the full outfit. But yeah, I love how it looks with the dunks and how it kind of graces the floor a little bit. I wish I would have shot it like this so that you guys could actually see that in pictures, but got a video for you so you can check that out. So let's go ahead to the next outfit. <laughs> okay, so y'all, I came up on this dress when I was trying to do wrong. I actually did a video in an Amazon dress that had like a off the shoulder, not off the shoulder, but it had a, is it a cold shoulder? Is it an off the shoulder? One shoulder. <laughs> it's a one shoulder dress with side cutouts that I got from Amazon. And it was weird because it didn't fit right here at the boob on the side that the that there was no like sleep. I exchanged it for this dress. Absolutely love it. I love this dress. I don't have to wear a shaper with this dress. I just gotta make sure I wear good drawers, okay? It needs to be briefs, but not too, too high briefs because of the cutout, okay? So I really love, really love how the dress fits. I have um, washed it and blow, not blow dried it, washed it and dried it on low, okay? And it, it fits, it still looks and fits really good, really well. Um, I will say I probably used the wrong side, so I shouldn't have put it in the dryer. It was it's like a slight hinge lighter, uh, but it's not gray. It's not dingy. I just realized that it kind of like some of the dye kind of came out, but that's just me. That's just me. So hang dry, girl, hang dry. <laughs> but it's really nice. I love the cutouts. I know this piece may not be for everybody. One because it has cutouts, and some people are like, "Where is my shaper gonna go?" 
if you're not comfortable wearing a looser fitting dress without a shaper or cutouts then that's just not this just isn't your dress but i really love i'm usually a person that just throws away a cutout dress I'm, I'm not looking at it because i have back fat i got a big belly i just don't feel like showing all of that but the place where the cutouts are is right at the height small of my waist and it's right underneath my back fat so i can wear a traditional bra and slide the sleeves down because it's a it's a off the shoulder or you can wear it on the shoulder it's versatile so you have that option you can wear it like this or like this so if you want to wear a traditional bra you have that option if you have a strapless bra and you're comfortable with wearing that you have that option as well um and you can still wear the hack amen that i talked about earlier from miss christine so you gotta win win if you're a person that is comfortable with cutouts i love the fit and feel of this dress i love the fact that i don't have to wear a shaper anytime i don't have to wear a shaper is a good day it's a good day but if you want to wear a panty shaper just because you want a little bit of more coverage you can do that you know what I'm you can do that do what you want wear this with some sandals wear this with heels this can also be a nice wedding guest dress as well because it comes in different colors um and especially until it gets cooler and then just like going out for brunch going out for dinner it's very versatile so yeah just worth every penny i love this dress okay so the next outfit guys is the anthropology tunic mini dress um that is the name of the dress it is a very it's a thin dress the material is perfect for if you're wearing this um like on a beachy or out type of day like you're running errands or you're going to get a, um have, like do maintenance you're gonna get like a wax and pedicure and all of this stuff this is that kind of dress it's more casual um it is a little thinner on on a little on thin side amen but i'm wearing the uh bando bra underneath okay so you see how deep <laughs> the the uh top of it is right completely missed that part on the model when i bought it however when i put that color bando bra with it i was like it goes and i kind of like it and it kind of makes it, it even though it shows like a, a little bit of a peekaboo down here every now and then you can't really tell because the bando bra is closer to my shade of my body um looks really good i like it i like it it's very casual like i said this is something that you wear to brunch or you know out for errands going to the store real quick um going out to the park or something like that it is lightweight that's what i'm saying so if you want to put some shorts underneath that baby you know just in case the wind blows it is a very lightweight dress um but it comes in different colors the color that i have on i think is more of a denim shade i think that one is almost sold out at this time but they have two or three other colors and plus sizes that are fully stocked and plus size so i hope by the time this video comes out that they're still in that good standing but i think there's a total of four shades um including the one that i'm wearing that comes in plus sizes and it also has a standard size that goes up to an extra large and it has plus uh petite so anthropology gives you those options um yeah girl love the dress love the dress i paired it with my um what is that girl the tote bag for, mm. The Marc Jacobs tote bag and then some dad sandals and then of course the Amazon bando bra. Now I don't have to wear a strapless with this dress. I have on a traditional bra in the photo and in the video. I have on a traditional bra. So I just have the bando bra over here and made sure that the, the v-neck of it just stays where it's supposed to be. It really wasn't doing too much showing of my traditional bra uh, or my regular bra. So yeah, nobody has to know. They're not gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. Amen. So let's go to the last outfit. So the very last outfit is casual as well. This is a good brunch, going out, running errands, getting maintenance, getting your toes done, um, going to get your hair, like whatever that may be. Like this is a really good, nice outfit. And this is also something that may or may not be for you because some people with larger bellies feel some type of way about wearing a cat suit. I do not. I will wear it with an overlay outside of the house yes ma'am when i'm outside like by overlay i mean like the qvc top that i have on in this picture so it's like uh, actually the top it's supposed to be a button up but i have it unbuttoned and it is actually a part of a set and it's like a wide leg pants set maybe i'll add the picture of the pants in here and i pray that they're still available on qvc because this set is so it's like a linen type feeling but soft linen and it, it just it's so nice i love the pants but i tore a hole in the pants like a while ago and i had them for a while it's just i need to order them again because i love that set but um 
the top I just have it over my cat suit I honestly personally don't like going out of the house in a cat suit without something over to kind of cover the booty and kind of give me more of like a cutout you know kind of break up the cat suit that's just me and that's how I style myself because I have such a large belly it's cat suit to me is more loungy and if I put something over it and then like put like a hat or some shades or something like that it makes the outfit come it makes an outfit it doesn't make it look like you just got out the bed and put this cat suit on and walked outside <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm wearing the short set catsuit and you can do with this with the long, uh, the longer pant catsuits that they have at Torrid. Um, and this one actually has a spaghetti strap. So if it gets a little hot, you want to take it off and wrap it around your waist, whatever the overage is. And it doesn't have to be this top. Again, you can have a denim, a chambray top at your house. You can have like a other kind of button up top that you could just unbutton and just wear it as like a jacket ish or whatever they call it, like a third piece. Um, so I have that with my, I think I have the Marc Jacobs bag, I think, in that photo. Um, as well as my Harachis. I think that's the name of it. I keep calling it Orchatas and I do it on purpose. I know that's not the name of the shoe, but just seeing the beginning of it made me think Orchata, but I know that's not the name of it. I know that's the drink. I know that's the drink. But it's Harachis, Nike, the Nike Harachis. Um, they're very, very wide width friendly and very very comfortable if you're a person that love a good chunky shoe a harachi is for you amen <laughs> bars okay it's so 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 nice and you can get your normal mm, i think you got a size up about half a size actually in the harachis i think they run a little smaller uh but yeah it's a very nice chunky shoe so i have that paired with the cat suit paired with the third piece uh, which in this one is the QVC top, but it can be anything in your closet. You don't have to buy anything new. And then the cat suit, you can change that out when it get a little, a little cooler. Like the cat suit, honestly, I want about 30 of them in the house. I, they are so comfortable. And I have a pants one. I have a pants one with short sleeve, a pants one with long sleeve. That's off the shirt. Like they're so versatile and you can change, like you can put, hold up. Like you can put a, uh, what's that called? A, uh, um a poncho with it a little you know with some booties uh okay i'm back <laughs> but, but yeah the cat suits at torrent i'll put all three of the ones that i have and maybe another one that i want to get so that you guys can see what they have and start getting them and stacking up if you want some more versatile uh very easy quick outfit ideas cat suit being a base if you're comfortable wearing it is your thing um and some people are like oh my god i gotta wear a cat suit in order to it's the pee thing they don't really like this one was actually hard to pee and it just take an extra couple of seconds to do this part and then pull down but it's very stretchy but i get it i understand i understand you just can't wait till you have to pee you if you think about peeing you just gotta go <laughs> if that's something you want to do okay <laughs> that's the last outfit all right guys those were all of the outfits that i have for you five outfits for large women with large bellies that want to just you know live it up and feel cute or what i'm saying while you out and about those are the outfits i have for you all of those links are going to be in the description below i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget those that are interested in content creating you want some help i do have consulting calls that link is going to be in the description as well i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day rest of your week god bless you may your house and yourself be full and blessed and covered in Jesus' name. I thank y'all. Y'all have an amazing night. Bye.